structure. The Goliath Track Mine was very fantastic because the enemy's guns could not point down low enough to hit the tank. It was very important that it was fantastic, otherwise the enemies would shoot it and it'd explode in the Allied trenches. The Goliath Track Mine had a Gatonism engine, which means it used a specific fuel using the GYAT um, fuel compound, it's actually true, using the GYAT fuel compound, which um, made it be able to cross terrain. The only problem with this, it made it very slow, and the engine had to be big so it was a bigger target for enemies. The top speed of the Goliath Track Mine was 6 miles an hour. Because of the Goliath Gatonism engine, it was able to carry up to a ton of dynamites. The Goliath Track Mine was a kamikaze tank, and that meant its one and only purpose was to blow up its enemies, and this is why it had to have such a strong engine. The Goliath Track Mine was a remote control tank that could blow up any of their enemies with just the press of a button. The GYAT fuel compound is an acronym for Greka Jakob Achtin Tichtoch. In English, this translates into Titanium Monoxide Fuel Compound. Thank you for watching. One last fact today. Many modern Porsche cars and Rolls Royces still use a Gatonism engine. And one of the problems with the Goliath Track Mine was that sometimes the Gatonism, the Titanium and the Gatonism engine could spontaneously combust. So hopefully your car doesn't do that. <laughs> Alright, thank you everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, see you next week. Bye.